Welcome to Where Parents Talk. My name is Leanne Castellino. Our guest today is a former high school French teacher and a stay-at-home mom. Julie beauchamp Quende is a mother of two. Her 20-year-old son graduated from Discovery Year in 2021. Discovery Year is a certified year-long post-secondary life skills program designed to help young adults better grasp what they want to pursue in terms of a career path or education, and then obtain the skills to make that happen. Participants develop and hone these skills through work terms, workshops, mentorship, coaching, community service, and travel. Julie joins us today from Ottawa. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So let's start with how did you and your family come to discover Discover Year? Um, we were at Thierry, my, my son, was in grade 12, and he had many opportunities for him uh, after graduating. And he was not sure. He was not really sure what he wanted to do. Could have gone to university, could have gone to a college in a fashion designer. He could have, he could have went back to Portugal to play soccer, take a year off, or go work and as a full-time employment. And um, so what happened? is this counselor at school uh, introduced us to Discovery Year. So we, we went on the website, we looked at everything, we went to the information session and uh, Teddy said, you know what? He says, uh, I think I'm going to do this because it's a sabbatical year, but like they say, a gap year with a pur purposeful gap year. So um, that's what he decided to do. And uh, we, uh, we registered him and it was just an amazing year. Now, speaking of that year, there was a lot going on in that year because we're talking about 2020. So the timing of this is quite interesting. Take us through what you think would have happened had he not uh, discovered Discovery Year. Well, probably, um, Siri would have probably go to university. Um, but to be honest with you, I really don't know because, like I said, um, some students are ready to go to college, university, on the workforce, whatever they decide, but some of them are not ready yet. And they need that year to, that year of transition, that year to gain this maturity, you know, that self-awareness of who they are. So I'm not sure if Thierry would have liked what he would have chosen for his next move, you know, the, the, the next stepping stone for his career life or things like this. So, um, yeah, I'm not, to be honest with you, he might have, you know, tried this and tried that and till he really gets it. But with Discovery Year, what happened is, is like you said, um, it's all about life skills. And life skills are not taught in high school. They're just not taught, you know? And what it gave him is this, to understand that self-awareness of who he is, that confidence of, of what he's becoming. He learned that new those new communication skills, that emotional intelligence. And then when he was done, he knew what he wanted to do. It's so interesting because I, I'm wondering, as his mother, and you're also an educator, so you have a, you know, a double perspective on this. When he was going through that sort of self-reflection, trying to figure out what he wanted to do next, what were you seeing in him and what kind of conversations were you having with him? Did he seem, you know, nervous, fearful, just confused, unsure? And, and what I'm driving at here is trying to paint a picture of what his mindset was at and what it was like, but through the eyes of you as his mother. It was, um, it was fear. It was a lot of anxiety because Unfortunately, parents, we have this tendency of putting expectations on our kids. And we think sometimes that we know best, which we don't know at all. And um, I tried as much as I could uh, to have this open discussion. And um, I kept telling him that um, whatever you decide to do, you need to feel okay with it. You need to feel happy with it. So even though I had those conversations with him and even my husband and even my oldest um, kid, um, he was still feeling that, what am I going to do? What, what happened if I make the wrong move? 
And, and there's no wrong or right. There's only his decision. And that's what we were trying to tell him. And um, it's not easy because some of his peers, they were saying, I have no choice. I have to go in this program because my parents are expecting this. Uh, the other one, they, they, oh, I know exactly what I want to do. I'm going to do this and this is where I'm going to go, which is beautiful. But for a kid that didn't know really what to do. And if you look at his opportunity, he could have gone back to Portugal playing soccer. He could have gone to university. He could have gone to Meridictarain, Design the Mud. He could have went just working or taking that gap year. So I think what happened is that that grade 12, some kids are ready and some aren't for whatever reason. And it's not important the reason. It's just being aware as a mom that my child didn't know what to do. He had that fear of what happened if I do this and it's going to be wrong. And we just needed to talk with him and say, there's no wrong in this. There's no wrong. There's no right. There's just your decision. And you got to be able to live with that decision. But again, I will say a person that knows her or himself will make the well better decision, right? You need to know who you are to be able to choose the path or the stepping stones you need to have this transition to adulthood. And if you talk to Teddy, he's always going to say discover year was the best transition in adulthood because you learned those life skills. Yeah. So you talk about Thierry being fearful. I'm wondering what was going through your mind and through your husband's mind, because a lot of parents who go through this themselves have some anxiety as well. You know, um, a gap year is not for everyone. So I wonder what kind of things were going through your mind about whether he wanted to take a gap year or should take a gap year or not. So my husband and I, at first, we were a bit like, oh, is he going to go back after his gap year? Um, is he, will this gap year um, make him uh, be more like, um, not lazy, but, you know, I don't know if I, this urge, this motivation to, to go after his goals, you know? So we had this, the same, the same anxiety in that sense. Um, but we, we, we were able to work with it by talking, by communicating. Right. And more and more that I saw that, that program, I said, okay, this is going to be better for him, right? Um, because he's going to learn all these these communication skills and know, knowing who he is. So, as parents, of course, we and then and then there's a comparison, right? You have friends, and they have kids the same age, and oh, he's going to university to do this to become a doctor, and this and that and that. And we look at at at, at people, and so well, what what city is going to do? And we say, well, we don't know. You don't know. And yeah, we don't know. And uh, he will do what he needs to do to be happy, whatever comes along. But at the same time, you have to support your child and show him different opportunities out there, right? So I think at that point, that's where he started to open a little bit more and see and wonder. So us, more, more that we saw Thierry and we went to the info session and we saw where he was coming from, then you change for your perspective. You need to change your perspective and you follow his lead because he needs to be happy, right? Because now there's so many kids that are changing um, different faculties or programs at college, university, because it's not meeting their needs, right? So us as parents, of course, we were stressed. But afterwards, and, and looking at life and saying it's, it's a year in his life, in a whole life. And I had to tell myself, because I have three BAs, and, and my husband doesn't have uh, any university degree, but he did teach at university. So our, our, our uh, home is a bit different from others. But at the same time, um, we had all these expectations. So you need to bring them down and don't have any. And just be there, be there and listen, you know, and guide. It's such an important point, right? Because you're talking about blocking out all the noise, 
that you hear externally. It's very easy to get sucked into all of the, that noise. There's the fear that your child might be left behind, that he or she may, again, not um, look at academics and picking that up again after a year. Uh, I know uh, many people who feel that about uh, a gap year as well. Um, is there anything in particular that helped you and your husband get past that? You talked about communicating, but was there anything else in terms of support that perhaps you guys turned to uh, to get you through that part? Um, so we did our research. I think it's really important to do your research and see what's out there, right? Um, we, we, uh, we talked, of course, we communicate, we followed his lead. We, we tried not to get into that, that, like you just said, that whirlwind of, of, of life, you know, how things are supposed to be in all this. Um, we tried things too. We tried things. Uh, we used a lot of, um, of, of um, opportunities and in, in a sense, talking to other people. Where are they at? So we said to Thierry, go talk to people, go find people um, that are doing something. Like his older brother, brother is an actor. Uh, so his life is completely different than his, uh, than Thierry's life. So you see how Mikael, my older son is, uh, do you see yourself in, in that situation? Go talk to your counselor, go talk to your teachers, go find your coaches, go talk to your coaches, go talk to people and see how they, how they did it themselves. How did they find what, what made them happy, what, what they made, made them to wake up in the morning and be alive and do what they need to do, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we, we did that. And as parents, you just, at one point, you need to trust your child. You need to trust your child because your child will find him or herself at one point. And some will take longer, some it's gonna be easier, but you need to trust. So there was a lot of trust, a lot of communication, a lot of, of researching, a lot of guiding, and, and even for my husband and myself. And we, we spoke to other parents too. And the thing is, what happens is when you're alone, you think you're going through this alone, but you're not. If you start talking to other people, you're going to see that there's a lot of uh, common things that we have, right? So that was, that was how my husband and I did it. And we, we saw our child, um, we saw the process, right? We were there. By seeing the process through his eyes and through our eyes, it gave us confidence. And I truly believe that when, you, when there's an action, there's a reaction. So therefore, there was an action on his part, which is asking his questions, figuring out what he wants to do and things like this. And then the discovery came along. And this is when uh, his life completely changed with all the life skills that he learned. So we, we at the end, my husband and I, we were, we were happy because he never gave up right and we never gave up as parents too and we didn't get in we didn't get influenced we stayed our ground and we say you know what i trust i trust in him i trust his abilities he will find what he needs we should mention that he was 18 when he entered discover year correct yes he was and so how would you describe give us a, sort of a flavor um an image illustration of what he learned, like some of the things and some of the experiences that he uh, went through as part of this year-long Discover Year program. So the, from the beginning, uh, we saw that there was this, um, this sense of family. It's not like a university or college where you're just a number, you know, some, sometimes that's how it is. So there's a sense of family. So there's a sense of belonging, right? And then I would say um, the way that discovery um, um, sets sets the tone or sets the the, the 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 way that they're gonna do the things with the children, like the the the, the, the approach and all this. Right there, we saw that okay, 
is going to be in good hands right there because they had coaches, they had conf- uh, people that made conferences, they had a workshop, they had exercises, they even had uh, micro coaching courses, facilitators that were there, etc. So they are so well um, uh, guided or taken care of. So right there, it was a, a safe place. So right, the safe place is the most important things, especially when you're a teenager or a young adult. And most of the kids that are there, they're kids that are just curious. They just want to, you know what? I'm not sure I want to do this. I would do that. I need to look a little bit more. I need to explore. So in two months, I would say, Teddy was there. We saw a switch in him. We saw a, a feeling that he was, I'm at the right place right now. There was this confidence that came in slowly but surely. There was the self-awareness, what he likes, his likes, his challenges, because through Discover Year, that's what they are learning, those life skills. And he saw the communication skills were phenomenal because even through exercises, and by the way, they have a program for the parents, and I I was part of that program and most of the exercises workshop they had, we went through that, through that ourselves. And I thought I knew it all, but oh boy, I don't. (laughs) So I had to learn about myself through this and apply it with Sadie during that year, which was phenomenal. So he became, he became this, this new person where he knew exactly where uh, he was standing. And more that he was discovering who he was, more he was realizing that, oh my God, like I can do this or I can do this or I can do that. It doesn't matter. It's what's gonna make me happy or what's gonna make me feel alive, right? So through that, and they have their own story. I always say with Discovery Year is they learn how to grab the reins of their own life. And it's not mom and dad that are deciding. And that's where the adulthood kicks in because now it's his decision how he's going to do it. So that's one thing they have the, that now he has like new abilities that he didn't know he had. He just discovered that those capacities, those life skills, especially the emotional intelligence. So we saw our, our young adult, 18 year old boy, becoming this young man you know through the months and just just the first time because they have to um, they have to work that's how they apply those life skills um and they don't they have to work at different places and he went for a job and and and, and the thing is he says mama he says uh, the mama mom he says that uh, the 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 employer turned around and he said uh, wow you were really well prepared for this interview and said, he said, I felt confident. And he says, without Discovery Year, I don't think I would have had this effect on the employer because they prepare them. And then they prepare them how to be um, um, a good employee around other employees, right? The, co- the cooperation. So it's like, it's, it's amazing. So we just saw that. And now, he just like went to design. He decided to be design the mud in Montreal, Marie Victorin. He moved there after Discovery Year. He started his program and he's flourishing because he is in the right place. Because through Discovery Year, he learned about all this and about who he is. And this is what he chose to do. Yeah. That's wonderful. Um, You know, a lot of parents are going to be listening to this interview and really having a lot of anxiety in their own situations and their own lives. What could you suggest to them about embracing, like you've described, the process, you know, maybe looking at a program like Discovery Year? And I think the most important thing is is something that you said, which is trusting your child, uh, him or her, to uh, make their own decision at the end of it all because they they have to uh, become adults and make their own independent decisions, you know, without their parents at one point. So what would you advise uh, parents who may be not at that level that you're at about how to sort of manage this? Um, I would say to the parents to um, 
look within. Because those fears, they come from us. So I would say, look where you are standing in this, in this situation. And look where your fears are coming from. And it's, if it's, oh, my, my, my child will not make it, uh, will not have success and things like this. You need to remember that it's his or her story and not yours. And bring, don't, have the, don't have expectations. I think expectations is the worst thing in parents when it comes to the young adults. And, and of course, our parents had expectations and we have expectations. It's from generations to generations. And when I say expectation is, is not, not the fact that you want them to be happy. Of course, that's okay. But at the same time, is it's their life. It's their story. It's, it, they, need to, you do, they need to figure it out by themselves. We raised them and we did the best we could. Right, we, we, we did the research we needed to do. We learned the things that we needed to learn. We took some from our parents. We modified some others. We spoke to people. We did the best we could to raise them. Now it's not our turn to raise them. We're done raising them. We are there to accompany them. We are there to guide them. We are there to support them. And the way to support is always Look at it in a positive way, even if the challenges are really, really hard. And the thing is, is go, go get the help that you need. Go get the help that you need as a parent and go get the help if your child needs help, right? So that's, that's what I would say. And at the same time, uh, you need to trust. You need to trust. And they will figure it out. They will. They will. You just need to be around and it's the love. You need to feel love. Because when they feel love, they are okay. They say, okay, I have the love, then I'll take the risk because I can always go get the love. So that's what I would say to, to parents. I hope it helps. Um, for us, it was very, very difficult because like I said, the expectation was to go to university, you know, and to do this. And I had to come down. I had to like figure out that, Julie, it's, it's not your life. It's your child's life. And you need to respect that. It's about respect. Yeah. Lots of wonderful advice for parents listening and watching. Julie Beauchamp, thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome, Leanne. It was my pleasure.